Hey everybody and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jackie Lady still in Lake Jackson. I hope everybody is staying warm. It is very cold in here in Texas, so I'm gonna go back to like one of my mom's comfort foods, man. Uh, I tried a little something different in this one, so it's gonna be great. I don't know if we're revisiting this one, I'll have to check it out. That's my circle light I have to adjust just so you can not all half shadow here. So before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, ring the little notification bell down in that corner to get these as close to Tuesdays and Fridays as possible as we can. And uh, Oh yeah, there's a link down the doobly doo for our merch. We got like pot holders and fans and aprons, which I'm not wearing, which I need to put on because it's one of my favorite shirts. So <laughs> it's all down the doobly doo. We very much appreciate it. We're small business and let's just get into it, man. Yeah. All right. First thing I wanted some chicken. I am using like three chicken thighs, man. Dark meat. It's cool. Uh, you're going to get three stalks of celery. That's all you need for that. Uh, you're going to need like a cup and a half of rice. Doesn't matter what kind. I'm using brown rice. I got it like Walmart, I think. So it's super easy. Uh, two small onions because some people just prefer small onions, man. You don't always have to go after the one big one. So two small ones are one big one. You want three cups of chicken broth. Uh, again, just brought the Swanson stuff. That's four cups in it. So you're going to need something to use the other one for. I'm going to use some garlic powder because it's us you want about four tablespoons of your your butter it shows you right on the side how much it is just to kind of cook that down uh you don't want salt pepper uh not a lot of either really it's and those again it depends on you uh and because it's texas i'm going to add a little bit of this pureed jalapeno because i can and a little bit of hot sauce because again i can both optional absolutely not required for anybody else i'm going to use one uh, decent sized pot slash skillet here first things first clean your vegetables especially down at the bottom and then you're going to skin your uh, onions a little bit okay easiest way to skin the onions is cut the top and the bottoms off you know the root and then like i don't know what the hell you'd call the top of an onion but cut those off and take that skin off off the outside it usually comes off pretty uh, easy like in ogre uh it is very much layered but it is harder to get the skin off the ogre so just get in here peel that all off uh, and get rid of it keep it if you're going to make paper out of it but it's up to you i'll never cover that to so get you a nice sharp knife shout out to andy and we're going to cut these in half lay them sideways and then slice them across one way see how i'm angling that knife as it goes across where it's not just straight up and down. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do that, but that's how I've always cut round stuff. I don't know if it's just my neuro spicy brain making me do it. So turn it sideways, cut it again. Remember the smaller pieces, the easier it goes to cut. I used all two of these. Go ahead and get that medium sized pan, put it about medium, medium high, and we're gonna put all four tablespoons of our butter in there. Uh, if you want it to melt down a little easier, go ahead and give it a nice little cut. Be careful of your fingers, this is very dangerous and stupid. And people wonder why I cut myself all the time, because I do lame brain crap like this. There's two cutting boards, right? there too whatever yeah so cut those down let those melt now we're doing that let's gonna cut down our celery uh again same nice sharp knife same shout out to my buddy andy thank you very much let's take these cut these down again you can split them and then cut them like you cut them long wise and then whatever you need some smaller parts uh when you're doing the smaller ones and you're getting close to your hand be sure to curl your fingers in there that way you can just rub across that knuckle at the top it won't actually cut you easier way to do that right i always get yelled at for not saying that and i can generally cut two or three of these at a time just kind of showing off yeah. but <laughs> take your time whatever you feel this is safe about once your butter is melted go ahead and add your onion and celery to the pot uh, be sure to get a wooden spoon you can use any kind of spoon really you just don't want to scratch any kind of non-stick stuff off this is where i add my garlic powder so just do that until the ancestors tell you to stop usually about a teaspoon a teaspoon and a half is pretty good use your wooden magic spoon there to stir it around let that cook and while that's starting to cook down we're going to cut up our thighs here now i get the skinless boneless stuff uh there's ways to do it with the bones and just pull out the bones or boil them do them separately but i like just getting the boneless stuff and again i think i got like four pounds of it for like 12 bucks and i'm using like three quarters of a pound of this meat so uh it's easier just to freeze up and bag up the rest of it so you can cut this you can cut the fat off if you really want to just cut it into small bite-sized pieces and just remember what kind of mouths you're doing uh you're expecting for your meal so if there's like children you want to cut it down smaller uh if there's grown-ups or uh or there's people without teeth it's all different sizes of <laughs> chicken pieces that you need to do here so uh once this starts to get where your vegetables are starting to get a little see-through not whether they're completely wilted just starting to go through go ahead because you're going to cook a lot of stuff in here go ahead and add your chicken once you've sliced and diced it down in there and put your cutting board in the dishwasher that is dirty it's got <laughs> raw chicken on it so make sure to clean that before you use it again 
take the meat, put it down, put the meat on the metal, as we say in the living between paychecks kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm watching Philip DeFranco today. So if you're wondering what I'm watching while I'm doing this, so you want to cook this down to where it gets rid of all the pink. Maybe starts to brown around a little bit of it. So we'll give it a stir every now and then, but not too much. But once it starts to brown, all the pink is gone. Now we're going to go ahead and add our broth. You're going to add three full cups of this. Uh, I kind of got this new one from like the, uh, the thrift store for my measuring cups, which I'm enjoying using. Just pain in the neck to, to clean. So go ahead and add three of these. Ooh, yeah, movie magic. Yes, that's so magic -y. And then one and a half cup of your rice on this one. And then this thing's got a marker down here for half, about halfway up, which is kind of neat. So go ahead and add those in there. Give them a stir. You can add your salt and pepper here. Again, this is optional. You don't have to add these at all. Uh, you can add other seasonings, whatever you want to add to it. Uh, somebody told me to add olives once. They used to have an ex that always cooked it with olives. And somebody else said they put carrots in it. Well, I'm not a giant fan of carrots. And the olives are all right. I just didn't have any on hand. Now, this pureed jalapeno stuff again completely optional i'm absolutely addicted to this stuff uh this cool little pepper company man i think i talked about them a little bit on tiktok but give those a nice stir in and then we're going to bring this to a boil okay once it's nice and boily whoop, all right you see it now it's nice and stirred in there but the, you can't really see the rice and stuff anymore because it's just now starting to cook you want to turn this all the way down to low not a very low simmer like in between one and two uh, on the thing here and cover it the only thing i have to cover it is a plate bonus points if you get the one that has this floral and fruit pattern on it i inherited this from my mother <laughs> but it's absolutely great and this is something that she always cooked so we're going to do this for 20 minutes i'm going to check them at every 10. so it's been 10 minutes i'm going to use my pot holder from living between paychecks kitchen <laughs> and check this out you can see it's starting to reduce it's still cooking it's very warm even though it's turned down really low uh give it a little stir where it's not just all the rice on the bottom and then at 25 minutes because I, I checked it at 20 and i didn't have the camera on at 25 look at this there's all that rice it is cooked up and swollen up it's tucking up so much of that broth this turns out amazingly so you want to go ahead and check your rice the easiest way to do that is with your face now it's going to be warm so be very careful blow on it and see if the rice is still crunchy or if it's cooked through or whatever if it's not cooked through just recook cover it and give it another five ten minutes but this is amazing this is something that uh, my mother did growing up if she didn't want to or didn't have the oil or we didn't have the money for the oil to cook it just to do a quick chicken and rice dish here this is just something that you know i grew up with and i always thought everybody did apparently the other people haven't and other people have to say it in spanish uh there are different ways to prepare it so if you did it differently you gotta let me know this holds up really well this is good for uh meal prep and that kind of stuff uh, there's a lot of sodium in here if you add the salt and just don't use the low sodium broth so be careful with that uh but we're using the dark meat you can cut the fat out of or whatever make this is where it's very healthy it's a lot of rice so that's usually good it replaces a lot of stuff but you got to be careful if you're allergic to it or not so be very very careful this one i dressed with a little bit of hot sauce there at the top man just because i'm trying to work on my taste buds I used to swear by hot stuff and then covid robbed me of all my spicy immunity so now jalapeno sets me on fire so uh yeah uh, <laughs> let me know if you add spice to your stuff man let me know if you're going to try this and then definitely try it hit me up with what your version of this i want to revisit it I had to do it without the apron because it's in the laundry so that's a thing <laughs> there you have it folks chicken and rice man super simple this is how we had it growing up there's a million different ways to do this i would love to revisit it so let me know how you guys do it put it down in the comments that's what they're there for you can also find this on social media or on facebook pinterest patreon where all those live between paychecks kitchen you can also find this on instagram live between that's one of our big accounts over there but we had to shorten the name for some reason me, Osby Nerdy, I'm on all those, including Twitter and over on TikTok. Usually I'm just talking action figures or miniature painting or just general nerd stuff. But hit me up. We'll talk food stuff or we can talk nerd stuff. That's fine, too. I will see y'all next time. I'm going to eat this stuff and try to stay warm. As long as the power holds out, let's go Texas. All right. Y'all be safe. Stay warm.